Hey YouTube, I haven't put out a uh, World Cup video since the one I did about an hour after the draw and I uh, read over 400 of your comments and thought I'd put out some more thoughts after reading through all those. Um, and a couple of you, like uh, Deep Jazzville, wanted to know um, my knockout stage and finals prediction, so I pasted uh, my bracket at the end of this video, so let me know what you think about that. Now, before I get into the soccer, and yes, Brits, it's called soccer, which I hope to tell many of you in uh, Rustenburg over a few pints, uh, so let me know if you're going to be there. Um, one non-soccer, the thing that ran through all the comments uh, was France sucks, and pretty much everybody seemed to agree. Um, Les Bleus, aka Les Cheetahs, um, didn't seem to have many defenders. Um, I wonder, uh, by the way, I wonder where Henri spent St. Patrick's Day. Uh, there was one person, Playman1111, who said uh, I was wrong and that I was brainwashed by the media. So for Playman1111, I have this to say. French culture. Hmm. All their songs sound the same. They've never made a movie that you'd ever want to watch. And the classic French novel, one of the most boring things ever. And Escargot. Let's face it, it's a snail. It's a slug, actually, with a shell on its back. And as Samuel L. Jackson so eloquently put in Pulp Fiction, sewer rat may taste like pumpkin pie, but I'll never know, because I'll never eat the nasty. And good luck washing that nasty slug down within any beer, because their domestic brew is piss, which is amazing when you consider the quality of German beer, Czech beer, Dutch beer. I mean, everybody knows how to brew it all around them, except the French. Um, and yes, they do have Bordeaux, but you know what? Napa's just as good. That's right, I said it. It's just people like Playman1111 are brainwashed by the media to think Bordeaux's much better, and that's why they pay more for it. And um, I did learn one other thing in the comments, which uh, I should have realized. Why do all these? Why do the French smoke so much? It makes it's a disgusting habit, and um, smells bad. But what it does do is it covers up their bo, which they have, they have because they don't bathe. Parts of the U.S.-Mexico rivalry. Um, a lot of unintelligent um, comments out there from people like uh, N. Wu Dog who think that. Um, Mexico is somehow better than the U.S. Uh, not that FIFA rankings mean anything, but the ones that just came out, um, the U.S. was one slot ahead of Mexico. Um, if you look at over the past 10 years, and the games are really important, where it's 18 versus 18, the U.S. pretty much dominates that, except when they play in Azteca. Um, so what is the Mexicans' point of view on this? Cinco, 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 cinco. Oh, you silly, dumb Mexican fans. That was the B team that you beat 5 nothing in the Gold Cup. We were playing in the Confederations Cup and doing quite well, thank you. It's just, it's not even close. And um, here's a little reminder as to why. See the Dosa Zero in Columbus anytime you play there, or Korea. And that's what really matters. To Soccer Double 619 who says Group A is definitely not the easiest. Okay, I did say that, and maybe it's not the easiest, but it's an easy group and it's definitely easier than Group C because England is greater than France, the US is greater than Mexico, Slovenia is greater than Uruguay, and Algeria is greater than South Africa. I mean, it's just, it's not even close. To Rebel Latino, thank you. It is pronounced El Tree and not El Tri. That's my bad, but Estudio Dos Años a la Universidad Solamente. And that was a long time ago, so I've forgotten, you know, a lot of my Spanish. But who really needs it in Nashville, Tennessee? 297 Music, yes, pot smokers. That is meant to be funny. Get a sense of humor, dude. <laughs> and to FIFA 09, we and fairly 1975, as you will see in a moment, I have changed my prediction about the group of death um, with Portugal now making it out with Brazil. Ivory Coast, I think uh, the result in the Africa the Nations Cup kind of told me they don't handle the pressure too well. And then even more importantly, if they would have got Hiddick, I would have felt great. But the fact that Hiddick turned him down and they're getting Sven Jan Eriksson, oh God, that's awful coaching. Sorry, Drogba, but uh, you're going home. 
England! England! Best supported country in the world, mate. Don't you worry about that. We'll be there in full force. We got the best players in the world because we got the premiership with the best Russian and American players money can buy. So we'll see ya. And lead Zero United. When's the last time they were in the premiership? Don't you worry, the U.S. is going to be there and representing. And just underestimate us like Spain did, and we'll see what happens. Tomodi 22 and Pistons 1 ply. Um, you know, you're right. I don't know a lot about Algeria. In fact, I know very little about Algeria. Um, they had, they've had some good results, like in the African uh, Nations Cup or whatever the African tournament is called. Um, and they've had some really bad results. But they're very inconsistent, and frankly, they may hold the key to the group because... Um, they probably, they're not going to get shut out. They are going to get a result at least in one of the games, and the key is not to be that team, because frankly, I think they will finish last in the group. Um, but uh, you never know. And I uh, didn't give Ghana enough respect last time, so we'll see, but uh, I just think this is going to be the U.S.'s year. Ahim Namzor, Cool Basis VT, and Mr. Jeffro1990. Um, so Lini actually got a good bit of support in our comments, and again, I know a little bit more about them than Algeria, but not a lot. Um, so it's definitely possible they could advance, I will give you that, but uh, a couple of those comments are a little bit out there, thinking they're definitely going to beat the U.S. and England, uh, no chance of that. So we'll see what happens, but um, I can't imagine you guys being there, but if anybody from Slovenia is actually going to be at the World Cup, let me know, because I would like to hang out with some Slovenian fans. Um, that's a once-in-a-lifetime thing, because I didn't know there were any.